Good morning, everyone. It's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups, and you can see I'm dressed a little casual today. It is early morning on a Sunday. I am going to go hit a few golf balls in prep for the Super Bowl and the final day of the Waste Management Open. I live in Phoenix, if you're not aware of it, and I'm a massive golf fan, and I just can't wait to get in front of that television and watch that golf tournament and also of course the super bowl see who wins we're not quite sure but this has been something on my mind for a while and i wanted to just cut what i'd call a lo-fi video about why i love having a virtual home studio and really what it means to me from an effectiveness basis so i think the first thing is just control and i'll give you an example here so right now i have on a little key punch it's called the Elgato Stream Deck. It's a fantastic little tool. You can get these with six buttons or 30 buttons. But with a tool like this, you can basically pre-program everything in your virtual studio and have it on a touch of a button, okay? So I love the fact that once you have everything engineered, you can make it extremely simple to go ahead and run, run a video production. And I'm talking about whether this is for a Zoom conference, a Teams conference. I use this all the time to project a broadcast stream right into my Zoom feed, whether I'm screen sharing it or just sharing my camera. But also the fact that you can use this virtual home studio. <coughs> excuse me, just made a little mistake there. You can use this, this software, this free OBS studio software to go ahead and record content. So for example, I'll just kick this over to my, my left screen for a second, and you'll see that there's a start and stop recording button. I'm literally recording this using the actual software. It's free OBS Studio. Now I will say you do need a more powerful computer than a typical business laptop, mainly the RAM and the graphics processor card. But just the fact that you have all this control, if you want to go picture in picture and have a slide deck up while you're large, you have that capability. If you want the slide deck to go large, you to go small, you can set this kind of content up. And this is really just a proxy right now, as you can see, that I'm just having all this focused on my studio. But if you wanted to set this up in an office, you could have several different presenters at different spots, and as long as those webcams are all connected to one common computer, you can have a very nice, a very nice setup in terms of a very effective presentation. In some ways, I'd have to say that you could set up a virtual presentation that would far exceed the production quality of just a live presentation when three or four of you would walk into an office and someone shuffles in awkwardly up in front of a, a presentation, somebody hands a clicker to someone else. I mean, you can really orchestrate this and have it very elegant. So I think that's, that's a massive benefit of having something like this set up. Now you'll also see that I've got, I'm just gonna call this prototyping things where I've wanted to consistently level things up over time. And I've said, you know what? I need to kick up my audio, make it better, less reverberated. So for about $41 on Amazon, you can get acoustic foam panels. And um, here's a little example. I'll just bring this over to my main camera. You can see that these tiles are, they come in a crazy compact little deal. But the thing is, you put them around your microphone and it really cuts down on the sound. So of course, I've not gone too crazy on these. I've got these set up with little binder clips just testing it. I've got some really nice plantation shutters here and I don't want to have those go too crazy in terms of their overall. Uh, I don't want to glue things on it or anything. You know, I got to keep that property value there, but the sound is really great. So doing things like this, excuse me, over time, or like this is a $25 boom mic that I've, uh, I put a piece of wood here on my table, nailed it onto the table. I did sacrifice there. Uh, my table, but this gives you a lot of control. So if you're working, you can slide this out of the way. But you pair this all together, this is a surprisingly effective system. And you're going to notice one of the cameras I'm going to point to right now, I'm going to just click a button right there. That is uh, a webcam that is on a baby tripod. It's like on that little tiny Zoolander style tripod. 
Behind me here is a camera that is a, it's like a $60 camera. It's not a fancy high level camera. It's a little $60 webcam that I've just have as an auxiliary camera. And then of course my nice camera is a Rebel, a Canon Rebel SL3, which was at the time about a year ago, the lowest priced SLR camera that gave you this clean HDMI output. So you could feed that right to a capture card, put that right into your PC and get a very high level camera set up there. So this is why I love this. So it's the control. It's the fact that I have things on buttons. I can switch to content. If I need to go to a good old fashioned, just normal presentation, I can bring up the slide, but at the same point I can personalize it and have other content. So when people ask me, why do I go through all this trouble to set up this type of content and have all of these different monitors going. This is why it's the fact that whether I'm shooting on-demand content, I'm just part of a meeting and we need to more effectively communicate to our clients about content, whether it's video content or anything. I have this at my disposal. I've preloaded it into the OBS Studio free software and we're just off to the races. And that's what I really love about this system. Wanted to cut a quick little video here before I go out and flail away at some golf balls, but hopefully this gives you a little peek inside the studio and how I'm doing things. I've found a lot of value in this. So I've got videos that show you which each of these screens do on my uh, Presentation Plus Ups website. So check out some of those on how do you utilize this in a Zoom or Teams environment. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Just wanted to thank Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I'll just release this before Thursday and give you a little lo-fi look. Hopefully, this is something you enjoy. If you like these kind of videos and you want a little less, a little less um, formalized, let me know, and I can just do some riff videos as well. So in the meantime, thanks so much, and please make it a great day.